is search for tomorrow. Hey. Yeah? Come here. What? Come here, sit. This hair. I love this hair. You know, I almost died at black one time. I was going to have what all those uh, romantic novels called long raven tresses. Well, you better leave your tresses just the way they are, or you'll have to answer to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm crazy about you. Clarissa McGuire. That's a redhead I had a crush on in the fourth grade. I've been a sucker for redheads ever since. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, tell me a little more about this uh, big romance of yours. Well, you keep leaning like that. Huh? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. I don't want to answer it. You have to answer it. I don't want to answer it. Come on. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Dane. Yeah, yeah he's right here. Yeah. Hey, Dan. Yeah, what's up? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. Well, I'll, I'll ask all the neighbors if I have to. No, no, it's no problem. Today's my day off. But I can get right on it. Hey, will you forget it? Look, I'm just glad to help out. Right. Okay, I'll talk to you. Bye. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to get upset. I'm going to pretend that your one big day off is no big deal. Kristen, it's something I have to do for Tom Bergman. And some of the people I have to talk to are going to be in classes all day, and classes? if I can get to... You going over to the campus housing? Where Warren happens to live? You really don't believe he's innocent, do you? If Warren's innocent, he's got nothing to worry about. He didn't do anything, Brian. Look, I know that Warren is not Mr. Perfection, but murder? Come on, I know him. He wouldn't kill anybody. Then, like I said, he's got nothing to worry about. Well, Travis didn't do it either, but he's going to go on trial anyway. Look, that is not going to happen to him. Okay, if he's clean, he's clean. And I hope he is. I mean that. For your sake, even more than his. Look, I'll, I'll see you at the riverboat, okay? I'll stop in for lunch. I'll let you open up a bottle of beer for me. Whoopee. Don't worry. I'll see you later. and deny that you've been having an affair with Tony Burton? An affair with Tony? I don't believe you said that. Have you been sleeping with Tony Burton? Answer me! I have not. Nor am I now sleeping with Tony Burton. And I'm not sure I can ever forgive you for asking me that. Where are you going? I can't live with you anymore, Liza. I can't even be in the same room with you. Mind if I, uh, join you for breakfast? I, uh, ran into Jimmy in the hall and decided to deliver this myself. I hope that's all right. He shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. I told him that I didn't feel like getting up. I guess he assumed I was going to eat in my room. No, he just determined to get you to eat something. I'm on his side. Now, come on. Drink up. 
Thank you. I can't finish all that. Well, just do the best you can. I mean, you're, you're not going to have morning sickness for the rest of your life. You, you're going to wake up one of these days and have a ravenous hunger, and you're going to feel better than you ever have your entire life. That's what they tell me. Well, your eyes are clearing. Mm -hmm. I look as vulnerable as a child's. It's your, it's your morning look. It's something I've grown addicted to over the years. You see, I would wake up before you and watch you sleep. And the sunlight in your hair. And then you'd stir and open those eyes. They were just full of innocence and happiness. Rusty. Innocence is still there. I just hope the happiness comes back pretty soon. It's a little difficult for either one of us to feel happy with this trial in front of us. Everything seems to be in a constant state of postponement. It doesn't have to be that way. Not everything. very little emotional reserves left. You're asking me to go into a very painful area. If I am to stay in one piece for this trial, I simply can't do that. I thought we understood one another. We do. I'm sorry I broke the rules. Again. Look, I better, I better get to work. Have a good day. You too. Liza. I meant what I said about being sorry for breaking the rules. Just don't ask me not to look at you. And remember. until you've got me in focus. I'll go sit back here, and when I'm in focus, let me know, okay? Now, keep turning that little handle. I've got you in focus. Good. Now, what do we do? Uh, I've got an idea. Why don't I do a little interview with you, like I do on, oops, Good Morning Henderson sometimes. Now, come, sit over here. It'll be fun. You just might become a star. <laughs> You comfortable? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. Oh, look, look. I keep water here just for our guests. There you go. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Good morning. I'm Sonny Adamson. And my first guest this morning on Let's Get Acquainted is Miss Andrea McNeil. Miss McNeil was able to be with us today because of teachers conferences that are going on at her school. What school do you go to, Miss McNeil? Linwood Elementary, but we call it Lewin Penitentiary. <clears throat> I see. Um, well, tell me something. Since you have today off, and it's a very special day for you, if you could have anything you wanted today, what would it be? A soda. <laughs> is that all? Look, what am I supposed to say? I thought this day was going to go a little different. I thought I was going to have some fun with my brother. Honey, look. Keith would be here today with you if he could. It's, it's not his fault that there was a fire over on the west side and his camera crew got picked to cover it. Yeah, sure. 
you really love your brother a lot, don't you? We're used to each other. At least we were till he sent me away to Stephanie's place. Who needs that kind of grief? Look, I'll admit that when you love someone a lot, you can get your feelings hurt sometimes. But, hey, you've got to think of all the good things you get, too. Someone who thinks you're really special. If you know who... so much about love, how come you ain't married? <sighs> well, Andy, uh, <laughs> marriage isn't the only way there is of expressing your love for someone. Uh, there are yes. other ways of... Please go on, Miss Adamson. Our viewers are on the edge of their seats. Andy, uh, I think it's time you learned the most important word at a TV station. Oh, really? What's that? Cut! Now, come on, let's go. I'll show you the makeup room. Wait, do I get a soda or don't I? It's really hot in here. You can have a whole case of sodas. Anything to shut you up. Now, come on, let's go. Presents already. I am only three months pregnant. Listen, I've got to get some practice in, don't I? Now, I've already waited three long months. I'm not made of stone, you know. Now, go on, open it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a music box. my music box. Ah. That's the one I got on my seventh birthday, the one Mother brought back from Europe. <laughs> I thought I lost this. Where did you find it? In your mother's attic. That was my best birthday. Yeah. You remember how happy I was when I got this? Mm -hmm. You know, you used to play that thing over and over and over. As a matter of fact, when I tucked you into bed at night, you insisted I put it right next to your pillow. <laughs> I wanted to sing me to sleep, you used to say. I can still hear you saying it in that cute little lisp you used to have. I never lisp. <laughs> Absolutely never. <laughs> oh, it's going to be singing a brand new person to sleep soon. You know, Granddad, sometimes I, I think about all the things my little baby's going to be discovering. All the things I need to learn to help. It's a little overwhelming. Don't. Come on, Lily. You're going to be a natural. You're going to take to motherhood like, like you've been doing it all your life. Mm. Now, you just enjoy all the little everyday things. Just don't let them get away too fast, honey. I don't want to miss a single moment. Well, listen, you don't have to go that far. Mm -hmm. Now, you and Travis are going to have to take a night off once in a while, be alone. Right. Right. You know, sweetie, just because you become parents doesn't mean you stop being husband and wife. Hmm? Anyway, I, uh... I just wanted to remind you about this terrific babysitter I know. I know the one you mean. Good. <laughs> now, I really have to go, sweetie. You and Sonny have a nice lunch, you hear? Don't you know, I won't enjoy anything today as much as I've enjoyed your visit. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for finding my music box. No. That's the least a grandfather, soon to be great grandfather, can do. You know, that's the first time I've said great grandfather. I'd better go home and sit down. Oh, really?
little coffee. You want some whipped cream in yours? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just learned how to use it. Here, wait. How do you... Brian, Brian, All right, okay, okay. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> you know you're dangerous, you... <laughs> Well, somebody's been a very busy boy today. Apparently, one of my neighbors told me that you came by the apartment building today asking questions about Susie and I and where we were the night Rusty was murdered. I was at your apartment building a little while ago. What about it? Huh. I thought you were taken off this case, Brian. Well, I was, but Tom Bergman asked me to do him this as a favor. Oh, really? Does the department know about these little favors? It's none of their business. Well, it will be because I'm going to file a complaint against you. A complaint? Yeah, that's right, for harassment. Look, buddy, I got a reputation, and my good name means something to me. So I'm telling you that if you so much as show your face at my apartment building again, you're going to get a restraining order slapped right on you, and on Tom Bergman or anybody else who wants to play. So back off. <laughs> 